What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. And in this video, I want to talk about a very interesting potential, I guess, connection in Scream 6. Now, this actually connects to another topic I've seen going around online about the deleted tweet that Paramount, I believe, took down. Uh, and, and we're going to read that as well. So what I'm talking about here is the... And, I guess spoilers, I never really know, I'm genuinely serious, I never really know how to approach these things because they're character names, it's just the character names of these people, I don't know how deep you, you read into that or if you consider it a spoiler, so if you want nothing, turn away now, but they've gone through the names, at least of, of most of the cast of Scream 6, and it definitely seems like, right, Dermot Mulroney's character is the father of Liana Liberato's character, right, father-daughter. Now, there's a couple things to read into it with that, right? Number one, is it a Debbie Salt situation? Did he change his name? And I say he because I'm really going to focus on, on Dermot here because there was that one very interesting-ish scene, let's say, in the Scream 6 trailer where you could read it as, is he Olivia's dad, right? That he kind of looked at it a little odd, a little glimpse, a little glare, you know, whatever you want to say. So I guess the theory I'm trying to put together and there's a couple other things we have to kind of bring into it, right? He had said back, I believe, over the summer that he is the father of a victim. He's the father of a victim. Now, here's the interesting thing. Is he the father of Olivia and also, I guess, the father of, of Liana's character? Or is it just Leon? Is it? I guess it can't just be Olivia anymore right when he first said that when he first said you know I'm a and and he did say he had to watch he watched Scream 4 he watched Scream 4 so it seemed like at the time he's a father of somebody who's no longer around why'd you watch Scream 4 of all of them you could have watched any of them you pick Scream 4 who are you the dad of well it certainly now seems like he's the dad of Liana I actually don't know any other way that you can you can read that situation so does that mean that she's... He either did a couple of different things, right? He either said that she dies, which I think would be kind of catastrophic if he actually you know, let the cat out of the bag in that way. It didn't seem so... Uh, it actually kind of seemed pretty innocent, let's say, back, back then, because it seemed like it was a Scream 4 character, potentially Olivia, that he was the father of. And there's some theories, there's some reasoning why Olivia never mentions the dad. I believe she talks about how her mom is at her boyfriend's house, so it's possible, you know, the dad and mom split up, dad's no longer around, right? There's there's some things that can, you know, uh, illustrate that, that there's a connection there. So it didn't really hurt anything at that time. If he was talking about Liana, though, when he made that statement, well, Liana's a goner. Liana's dead in this movie, right? She's not going to make it. Could it be both of them? Now, here's another thing. Paramount, like I said, the tweet. Let's read the tweet. It's actually quite interesting. If you convert it from Spanish to English, Scream 6 hits theaters with an upgraded ghost face and ready to redeem its mistakes. March 9th, only in theaters. So an upgraded ghost face. Wonder what that means, by the way. Upgraded maybe in like weapon usage, right? Or skill, you know? But you know, ready to redeem its mistakes. Now, here's the thing. If you read that in a vacuum, a bubble, separate, and you say redeem, and I, I assume it's its because they don't want to give away his or her, right? Ghostface redeems her mistakes, his mistakes, then you start getting Stu or Jill or, you know, whatever. When you say its, you don't know. But if you read it in a bubble, you may think, oh, actually, that could be a spoiler that they're saying it's an old-time killer. Somebody, you know, a killer from a past movie coming back. There's only a couple you could possibly, you know, even stretch to the furthest of your imagination. But what about if you read this tweet with the character names? What if knowing that Dermot Mulroney's character is the father of a character in this movie, but not just that, he changed his name. He had Olivia, then he... Now, do the ages match up? That's a, that's a tough one. Why would he have changed his name? You'd have to, of course, explain the movie. It's not perfect. I'm not claiming this to be the theory, the perfect theory. But is it possible he had Olivia, he broke up with the, the mom, he went off, he had a kid, maybe he changed his name. Maybe he changed his name before Olivia died. Maybe he changed his name right after Olivia died. In which case, both him and his daughter, Liana, they both changed their last names. Now, doesn't it open up a little bit? Well, it, it opens up some possibilities. Number one, 
that's a father-daughter ghost face duo, right? He's the mastermind. He's having his daughter do it. Now, why? There's been some theories, some kind of clever ones, where maybe like, you know, what happens to the survivor, or not even survivors, people who die in these movies. What happens to their families? You know, you kind of forget about them. All these people that are just kind of cannon fodder for Ghostface. You know, it's a movie, but if you want to get deep and you want to give somebody a motive to do this later on, well, what about the families? The families suffer. So what if his motive is, well, I'm just going to eliminate all these remaining survivors. Let's just not even start clean. Let's just wipe the board. That way, nobody needs to get hurt anymore. Maybe their families will get hurt, but after that, the the pain stops now. It always goes to Sydney. Now it's always going to Sam. They're going to get other people hurt. And not just other people, they're going to get their families hurt. I'd buy that as a theory or as a motive, I suppose, right? If that's if that's the motive, I w- would be somewhat okay with that. I mean, you know, we have to see how it plays out, but could that be it? So I, I honestly think if you want to read into that tweet, again, reading into it separately Eh, it's odd. It's like, well, are you are you seriously referencing Stu almost? Like, you want the Stu crowd to come out? Or n- redeeming its mistakes. Well, what if he feels remorse? What if he feels sorry or bad that he wasn't there? He's a cop, right? Or he's skilled in some, some way. If he was there, if he was protecting Olivia, if he was at the house, there's no way she would have died, right? In his mind, there's no way she would have died. He would have been able to defend her, but he wasn't there. So is he redeeming his mistakes, saying, well, guess what? She was in the way. She shouldn't even have been targeted. See, I can actually, again, really imagine this motive. Why was Olivia even killed, right? Part of the friend group, basically, right? Well, but, she, I mean, you, again, you think of it from his perspective. She died for no good reason. It was all because of Jill and Charlie, and that was because of, you know, Sydney and trying to get, you know, so all of this stuff. Olivia was a victim. You know, she she was somebody who didn't need to die, didn't need to even be there. So, would you, you know, redeem yourself? Are you t- are trying to redeem your, you know, your mistakes? I guess you could say Kirby. Maybe the tweet is referencing Kirby, but that's assuming maybe like Kirby was in on it and four. I don't know how you'd want. I'm sh- I'm sure there's other things you could come up with, but I think knowing the, ca- I mean, this was actually a cruel, tw- uh, actually not a cruel twist of fate, a good twist of fate, I suppose. Right, having these character names. There's clearly something going on with Liana and Dermot. And then is there something else going on with Dermot specifically? And then you combine this tweet to it. I don't know. I, maybe it paints a picture. So let me know what you guys think. It's just my thoughts, just my theories. Let me know what you think. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.